This is the lobby for the Stafford Animal Shelter here in Livingston and water mud is still pooling at our feet and it's like this all over the facility, not just here in the lobby. The damage here, the staff say it may be too much to come back from. It's devastating. I mean, with the work we did and we thought we had really come a long way and we're looking forward to the future when this happened and it just derailed us. Uh, we don't know where to go from here. Monday night, the staff began evacuation of the animals after spending the day taking in animals from the flooding to preparing to lose their home. We were almost finished and we were just about to load the dogs into the, tr the van and the water started rushing through the cat wing windows just from out of nowhere. At around 2 in the morning, the animals that were evacuated went to nearby rescues or foster homes like Andurl Kennels. They've had quite an adventure. The four guys I have, they got taken out by um, Swift Water Rescue guys in kayaks. Rob Greger is no stranger to taking in dogs in need. Everybody does their little bit and tries to make it a little better world. Three out of the four dogs will be taken in by a Missoula shelter, awaiting to start their new life west of the Continental Divide. They're all pretty well adjusted and, you know, the any trauma they had didn't affect them. The future for these rescues seems bright. Every single animal at the shelter is out of the building. But what about the future of their old home at Stafford? No employee and all animals are safe. So that's the good news. The bad news is the shelter's shot. So our, we lost our, our boiler, the heating system, surgical equipment, the computers, electrical. I mean, it's, it's almost a complete loss. Can this shelter be restored? Well, they just don't know yet. Further assessments need to be made to see whether they can save their home or if they need to find a different location. In Livingston, Jane McDonald, MTN News.